The Falcons score 13 points to rally in the fourth quarter and beat the Packers 25 to 24. I am joined by our Falcons beat writer D Orlando Ledbetter. D Led, you and I were just talking about how last season this feels like the kind of game the Falcons would have lost. But this time around, they come away with the win. What made the difference in that fourth quarter? Yeah, clutch plays down the stretch by the defense and the offense. The fourth down, uh, uh, fourth and inches going for it by Coach Arthur Smith. They didn't fumble the ball or bobble it or something or, or get it batted up in the air. All those things happened last year with Marcus Mariota. They were able to execute, get in position for the uh, field goal, and uh, get it through the uprights and come home with the victory. Desmond Ritter throws his first NFL interception in the first half, but I thought we really saw him settle down in the second half and do the things, it wasn't beautiful, but do the things he needed to do to help this Falcons team get a win. What did you see from quarterback Desmond Ritter? Yeah, he didn't get rattled. Uh, you know, uh, he got hit on that interception by Kenny Clark, big tackle, one of the four uh, first round picks on that defense. So the ball fluttered out. Uh, but yeah, he got he got a little high and started spreading the ball around. He hit Drake London, uh, put it, um, got it to Bijan, got uh, John New Smith involved. Uh, so he was moving the ball around. I thought what he really did was uh, move around with his legs. That the pass rush was coming, he escaped the pocket, and he made some plays on the move. And I thought that really helped the Falcons today. Running back Bajan Robinson, a rookie, goes for over 100 rushing yards the first time. Of course, it hasn't been. He hasn't had that many games yet, so to do it in such a short amount of time, what does that say about him and, and how clutch he was on that? It was fourth and inches. Mm -hmm. He picked up seven. Yeah, no doubt. They um, The offense was stagnant. They got down to the one and threw some passes. I don't know why they didn't give it to him then, but uh, you know, once they got backed up against the wall, they went with their, you go with your best players. And they started getting him the ball. He started making runs. They started blocking for him. They got moving. And then that opened things up for everybody else. Great poise and composure by the rookie. They moved him outside. He was in the slot. He was in the backfield. Uh, you know, they, uh, they might have ran 40 different formations, and he might have been in four different places today. But he did a great job with uh, all they put on his plate in his second um, game in the National Football League. The Packers did not have running back Aaron Jones, so you do catch a break there. But I do think, to your point about some of those final drives in the fourth quarter, we got to see the benefit of the Falcons investing in this defense. Yes, they were able to adjust and take away the routes that uh, Jordan Love was hitting earlier in the game. Uh, gave Trey Flowers some help there. Uh, he had been uh, he had gotten beaten on a couple plays, so they adjusted and the pass rush started to get there again late. Had a big sack early by Caden Ellis, but you can see the things coming together. You know, not a perfect game, but you know they've been able to put. Uh, uh, some quarters and a half together, you know, in spurts, you know, four brick stops, three, three and outs. Uh, you know, that's the stuff you got to build off on early in the season. All right, what are the biggest things you've seen from this Falcons team through this 2 0 start? Because, I mean, this is the first time they've started out 2 0 since 2017. Can they keep it going? Um, we, yeah, we'll see. I think uh, Detroit, uh, that's a big challenge. Detroit went and beat Kansas City. Uh, you know, and they're, they're supposed to be one of the up-and-coming teams in the NFC. Then they go to London and play uh, the Jags, supposed to be one of the up-and-comers in the AFC. So we'll get to know uh, a lot about this Falcons team in the next couple of weeks. The mistakes they made today they need to fix. Uh, they're going to def definitely need to do that before Detroit and definitely before they go to London to play the Jaguars. At the very least, a 2-0 start. Atlanta will take it. D-Led, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks to all of you for watching. Make sure you go to AJC.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos just like this one.